we allowed you to go pick up beer by yourself? There was no allowed, you made me. You were supposed to meet me. Made, <laughs> supposed to. Such aggressive terms. And what does she come up with? Another sour episode. Another sour <laughs> episode. Brew reviews and news. So cranky. So positive, hey. <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows and lollipops, and here we go. I got uh, the double kiwi sour from Outcast Brewing. Uh, we picked up the peach cobbler sour, which actually, I, it just sounds intriguing. It's it might good. be good. Double kiwi and peach cobbler, uh, those probably clash, but it's a strong beer, so I can respect it. <laughs> Goodness. We have the cherry on top kettle sour by Sneak Lake. Oh, what are you doing? It's happening again. And then we have the Master Blaster. Uh, it's a strawberry mango sour. I'm sorry, it's called Master Blaster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't. 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 Okay, we got the double kiwi. Oh, that's sour. Yeah, that's really sour. It's not that kiwi. -y. I feel like kiwi isn't a strong flavor. That might be the No, kiwi is subtle, and I definitely taste it. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's actually not bad. I really like it. Like, again, not a sour guy. Mm -hmm. Not sour, very serious. Um, no, what's it? Gummy bears? They were like, first they're sour, then they're sweet. Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, that's the one. gummy bears? I don't know. Um, you yes. taste the kiwi, the kiwi's subtle, it's good. Uh, it is a very sour beer. It's very sour. But I think they got what they were going for. It was good. I think it might be a lactose sour too. Okay. I will give it an eight Sour Patch Kids out of 10. Okay. I'm gonna give that eight Sour Sammies out of 10. Well then. Hashtag. Don't do it. Hashtag. <laughs> Peach Cobbler's up next from our friends at New Level. <laughs> I say our friends, but I've never spoken to them. <laughs> this makes me feel, like, oh, I just wanna sip this beer with like a pipe in my like library. It tastes like a fancy pastry, yes. Like that if I'm just like, huh, honey, my after dinner beer. Huh. Oh. Long pipe. A Gandalf type thing. It's good though, like it has that little bit of like brown sugar, that little bit of cinnamon, but it's not overpowering by any means. Yeah, you definitely get like, I find like you get the spices and the aroma. Yeah and uh, it just complements everything you taste. It's very nice, I really, really like that. I'm a fan, I'm impressed. Tickle me impressed. <laughs> no, I really, really like that. I thought you were gonna say, no, I'm not gonna tickle you. Well, I'm not gonna do that either, but. <laughs> uh, that's a 10 for me. A that's, 10? That's Did a, you just give it sour a 10? That's a 10 peach cobblers out of 10. Wow. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10. Oh. It's good. I don't know. You snubbed the half a point. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm too kind right now. I think nine and a half is like a, no. Uh, it's a very good beer. Might be a 10. That's a very good yeah, beer. Yeah, I took another sip and I was like, no, it's a 10. Just everything about it is just very. Mm. It's very well-rounded. It's not too sour. It's not, like it doesn't punch you in the face. It's just very, very approachable. It's very nice. You going with 10? Yeah, I changed it at 10. We got a 20, bang, bang, fireworks. <laughs> Big 20 right here. I don't know if we can edit that in, but it's another 20, let's go. Can you get as hype as I do? Our news article today is... <laughs> Cow urine makes for juicy lemons. What? What? <laughs> There's so much to unpack here. I'm assuming it's like fertilizer, like they use cow manure as fertilizer. Cow urine is also like fertilizer. Let me just get this right. Cow whips out an udder. He's like, we're not going milk today, we're going piss. One. Boom, so on the lemons. Talk and hold up. On the lemons. Oh. No, let, don't ruin this train of thought. On the lemons. One. Boom, proper Do you lemons. think cows pee out of their udders? I think they should, I think that'd be fucking dope. Boom, 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 udder, 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 boom. The visual here is too much. Two, I'm a little bit worried that you didn't learn enough in sex ed class. So what is an udder? Where's your udder? I don't have an udder. They're boobs, one. The udder's a boob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where the milk comes from. Do you think about it? Think about it. So you're telling me 
that the udder is just a very obnoxiously long nipple? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> Holy. Just want you to know. Do you actually not know that? I'm never gonna look at cows the same again. And sometimes. You're almost crying. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just so distraught. <laughs> Up next, we have the cherry on top kettle sour by our friends at Snake Lake. Yeah, that news article was the cherry on top. Yes. <laughs> um, that's just a basic sour. It tastes like, like a sour cherry blaster. Yeah. Which is exactly what I thought it was going to taste Sour cherry blasters. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pew pew. Mm -hmm. Get that. Yeah, you get the cherry though. It's sour. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's a kettle sour, so it's pretty, like, I, it's not complex. There's not anything crazy happening there. I'm not mad about it though. I quite enjoy it. Like, I would sit down at a bar and if it was on the menu, I would order it. Now that you say that, that really tastes exactly like a sour cherry blaster. To a tea. Like, if you want to know like, what this beer like tastes less like. Sweet. And only mildly. Yeah. Like, it's pretty like, close. Yeah, but it's not like the hurt your teeth kind of sweet. No. I think it's more of like a summer beer. It's definitely a lot lighter. I think everything else we have is a lactose sour, and this is the only kettle that we have, so it's very different. Okay. It's not knock your socks off different, yeah. but I enjoy it. Yeah, if you just want, you know, cherry sour. Yeah. What are you giving that? Uh, I will give it 8 out of 10 yeah. sour cherry blasters. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'll give it uh, 8 pew pew out of 10. <laughs> It's, it's the animal sound effects for the, me. The blaster snake lake. Yeah, I got it. Pew, pew. Yikes. Last up is the master blaster. <laughs> uh, Mango and strawberry. It tastes like the alcoholic version of my morning smoothies, which is a problem. It tastes the strawberry, it tastes the mango. It's not on the, like on the sour spectrum. It's like boop, 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 boop. It's like boop, 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 boop. It's, I think it's like a, like a mid level sour. Yeah. I think it's not crazy sour like the first one was, and it's not it's as mild as the like cobbler was. I it's a mid. Yeah. Right in the middle. What do you think? Well, give it nine fruit smoothies out of ten. Nine fruit smoothies out of ten? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that one um, nine master blasters out of ten. What was that like movie? <laughs> the master blaster is my <laughs> My parents are ashamed. Uh, Peach Cobbler won. <laughs> Peach Cobbler was a 20. Yeah. It was so good. It was good. I really like the idea of having like, just like more complex sours. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the time people are like, fruit in a blonde ale and then we're gonna put all the stuff in it that makes it sour and there's your beer. Yeah. And like that was different, more complex. Mixed it up. Peach yeah. Cobbler. Yeah. They were all good. Yeah, I'm Sammy R. I'm Juan. Drink up, beaches. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, I'm super glad that that's on film because I picked these beers and you said you were happy with them. So, it's there forever. Got it, Ben? What the f I'm a prisoner of being held captive. <laughs>